Hi, it's Trisha from Tribe to Village. Thank you so much for joining us. This is our tribe, our family. And today we're joined by the lovely environmental engineer and my good friend, Janelle. Hi, Janelle. Hi, thanks for having me. Of course. And today we're going to talk about how to honor our ancestors' wildest dreams. In, and that's in honor of Black History 365. <laughs> Because every day, baby, history, right? That's right. <laughs> Black history is history. So, Janelle, let me let me tell the people a little bit about you, okay? Janelle graduated from Columbia University. She's an environmental engineer in a leadership position at Amgen. She was in um, she was in Green <laughs> Biz Thirty Under Thirty. She went. To, she provided clean water to the people of Uganda. Like this woman is our ancestors' wildest dreams. Aww. So, Janelle, I'm so proud of you. And would you like to talk a little bit about, you know, touch base on your journey and how you're able to honor your ancestors, especially in a field that's not that diverse? Yeah, absolutely. Well, first of all, thank you for having me. Um, I think it's even just honoring our ancestors to have this platform and, and communicate and talk about our journeys. So using our voice, that. yes. Using our voice. Um, but for me, honoring our ancestors is just so much about occupying spaces that you know we we were not allowed in and, and now we're, we're here to occupy, right? And so for me, it's about occupying spaces that were maybe not created for me, but that I'm going to occupy and, and be in. Mm, um, preach, representation, <laughs> because representation matters yes. yes all the time um and so for me so much of my journey has just been about um being the, the only or one of few in so many spaces that i'm in mm. and that includes i mean in undergrad and like you mentioned i studied environmental engineering um i was one of three black women in the entering engineering class at columbia only three uh, only three wow black women in freshman year in a class of 300 in the engineering school at least and so in mm -hmm. stem um just being in, in engineering and stem and just being one of the few black women in that space for me it's been so important to to, to be there and to be persistent and resilient and show up and mentor others below me and bring others along um it's, it's so important to just kind of understand your your importance in that space and i've always been kind of cognizant of that but that's also persisted throughout my my career so if i think about you know i spent many years in the environmental consulting sector i was always the only black person and the only black woman on my consulting team yeah. um, and so for me it's it's always been about just representing us in those not giving up not giving up and being authentically myself like pursuing a, a field where there are so few of us <laughs> there, yes. like you know, there's so few Black people in the environmental field, in the environmental engineering field, in technical field. Um, I, I went to grad school. I did an MBA and a master's in engineering. I was the only Black woman in my program, in my dual degree program. Um, but it's about, and for me, it's always been about being just being persistent and resilient and knowing where I want to be and the things I want to pursue um, and being a representation for the people that are going to come behind me. And yeah, that's and that's, that's a great point because one of the things our ancestors would want is for us to reach that hand back and help others up along the way. Just like yeah. they did, they fought not only for their present day, but they fought for the future, which is us, right? Absolutely. And yeah. so we have to honor them by doing the same, not just, not just fight for us, but to fight for those who are coming up after us. So that's, that's, that's a great point, Janelle. Yeah, and that's been so like not to belabor, but that's been just such an important part of my career and my journey too. Is like literally today, another um, young black woman. Uh, she's ten years younger than me, which makes me feel old. But she asked me today to be her mentor, and she, that's just so important to me. I love when uh, younger black women reach out to me on LinkedIn through my job, ask me to be their mentor, ask me to review their app for grad school that's that, that's such an important part of my journey because as you said 
so much of our like ancestry is so is communal right we we think of each other as like closely knitted together it's the same reason why we see each other in the hallways at work or at school and we you know you give you give somebody that nod like you know the journey that you're on together and for me yes. that's been so important to understand the role that I play for the people coming behind me and I never say no to requests like that which mm -hmm. I probably say on this YouTube <laughs> like because I'm gonna get a bunch of requests in my LinkedIn but I will never say no to something like that somebody asked me to be a black woman asked me to be their mentor a black woman at, reaches out on LinkedIn and asks me to talk about sustainability and environmental stuff they are applying to grad school they want to know more it's always a yes because I've had people ahead of me that paid that forward to me mm. um and it's only right that I then keep that going. And that's, that I really believe is what our ancestors would have wanted. Yeah, that's a beautiful thing because you will mentor that young lady and she will mentor someone else and it goes on and on. And the pipeline just continues and the community grows Absolutely. to the point where I do believe that eventually, especially in these, um, these STEM areas, it won't longer be a question of, okay, I'm the only one who looks at, like me with a seat at the table. That's the goal. You know, that's the goal. <laughs> that's, that's the goal. And it, it will happen. It will happen yeah. because we will continue to fight for equality. We will continue to fight for representation because our ancestors did it for us. Yep. So that's we'll right. continue to do it. Uh, so Janelle, as you know, as often one of the only people in the room who looks like you, have you ever had like a uh, a specific experience where you realize, whoa, okay, I'm I'm different here, or whoa, my blackness really matters in this space. Yeah, all the time. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to pick an example, but um, so many experiences. I remember in my first job, um, I was working in the environmental consulting realm, and one of the other analysts on the team called me a diversity hire. Oh, and wow. you know. <laughs> diversity hire diversity hire like what is that um you know someone that they assume is there just because of the color of their skin or maybe their gender to fill a quota um and, not and because not of their credentials skills. exactly not because of their credentials not, to, not because I graduated at the top of my class mm -hmm. um because of my skin color and that I mean, I, I would say that was one of the earliest experiences in my career where it really brought into sharp focus for me, just the, just like visibly the role that I play in, in the mm -hmm. business world and the STEM field as someone bringing not just the set of knowledge that I have, but also my identity as a black woman. And- um, So how did you navigate that? How did you respond to that? Well, for me, in the earlier part of my career, I, and I still think I, I feel this very much today, but my response was, okay, well, I'm going to use that to stand out. So you think I'm a diversity hire? I'll show you what this diversity hire is capable of. And I guarantee when I go into that room with 20 other white men, they'll remember me. Mm, I'm going to be more you're unforgettable. Unforgettable. You're unforgettable. <laughs> That's right. And all <laughs> your ancestors are in the back, like, you go, girl, you get them. You go. <laughs> you show them why they need diversity in here. That's right. And for me, it like earlier on in my career, and I still feel like that. I feel like I, I deal with different challenges now and sort of being a middle manager, senior manager um, in the midpoint of my career. But in earlier on, I just, to me, it was about using it as an asset, leveraging the fact that I was unique and different. And yes, I would come into rooms where people might have preconceived notions about me. I remember my second job, someone came in, I went in to do a presentation and the person thought I was an admin. So they were asking me where the bathroom was. And I was like, actually, I'm, I'm here to, to conduct this training. Um, and so, you know, there, people, you enter rooms and people have these certain perceptions about you. And there's a skill around navigating those as well. But for me, it was always about having a slight chip on my shoulder and realizing, you know what, I'm going to come in here, I'm going to prove all these people wrong, and they're never going to forget me. And they usually, they, they usually didn't. <laughs> They usually didn't. <laughs> so what I'm hearing from you is another way to honor your ancestor is to be unapologetically yourself. Absolutely. Right? You didn't yeah. go in there like, oh my gosh, I need to change myself to appease okay. them, to make them feel more comfortable. It's like, no, you're like, I'm Janelle. This is what I have to offer. This is what I'm bringing to the table. Yep. You know, you better be ready for it or I don't know what to tell you. 
get with it yes yeah get into this get into it <laughs> yes and it's like you know your skills are so important and you contribute so much because you wouldn't be in a position that you're in now without i mean i keep telling people my friend bought clean water to the people of uganda like that's amazing not all of them for the record yes, <laughs> not, not all area, but yes i exaggerate you know but still even if it's just one person you matter you being in that space matters yeah and for it. anyone else out there who's listening if you're in a space where you're one of few people or the only one who looks like you don't get discouraged you know be yeah. like janelle and be empowered if she could do it you could do it use your difference to your advantage use your difference to stand out and just remember those who fought before before you to get to that position and you yeah. draw upon their strength to make it through. That's right. Right. It's all about resilience, right? It's all about resilience. Yeah. And it's all about what did Madam Vice President say again? What did she say her mother told her? You might be the first of first many. But make sure you're not the last. Make sure you're not the last. Make so sure our ancestors did that and we will continue to do the same. Well, right. thank you so much, Janelle, for joining us. And thank you for sharing your insight as to how to honor our ancestors through mentorship, through being authentic to yourself, right? And just overall gratitude for those who came before us. Absolutely. Yes. And be empowered. Use, use your difference as a strength. Yes. Use your difference as a strength, a beautiful strength. Yeah. Thank you once again, everyone, for joining us. Janelle, thank you so much again. You, and let's continue to elevate and grow together. Bye. Thank you. Yes, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe.